how much your line tilts or slants. So if you're looking at a positive slope, it's going to be a line that is, goes uphill from left to right. Uphill from left to right. These are examples of positive slopes. Some are steep, some are not so steep. Still uphill from left to right. Uphill. Let's watch our guy go uphill. Negative slope is going to go downhill when you read it from left to right. So here are examples of a negative slope. Negative slope, downhill. Negative slope, downhill. Negative slope, downhill. Down like frown, down. Negative. Down. Now zero slope is neither up nor down. It's going to be a horizontal line. One of our y equals equations. Horizontal line, zero slope. Y equals equation is a horizontal line. Zero slope. Zero slope. Zero. Here's my guy. And he's going zero. He's not going up. He's not going down. Just chilling. Now an undefined slope. This is not a slope. It's a vertical line. It's an x equals equation. This does not tilt. It just falls. Ooh. Vertical line undefined. Vertical line. Here's my guy. Ah! Let's calculate the slope. The slope is a number. Now we just went through and decided positive or negative or zero or undefined slopes. But it, the slope is an actual number. So when you're asked to find the slope, do not say positive or negative. You should come up with a number. Slope is the ratio of the difference in the y values over difference in the x values. Slope is the ratio of the difference in the y values over the difference in the x values. So if we're going to take the slope from a graph, first pick any two points on the line. Then draw the triangle frame between the points. The slope is rise over run. Rise over run. Rise over run. So first you're going to count the rise or fall up and down direction in the y direction. Then you're going to count the run left to right. And then you're going to express it as a reduced fraction. Fraction. Rise over run as a fraction. So let's calculate the slope of this line. Notice it has a positive slope. So let's find points that are on the line. And there's infinity. There's some ones that are nice. There's some ones that are not so nice. So we're just going to find some points in the line. Just draw them in as many as you want. Find some points, draw them in, draw in points on the line, nice points, hello, hello, nice point. So you're going to pick any two points, doesn't matter, any random two, pick two of them. We're going to draw in the frame. It's rise over run, rise over run here. So I rise and I run, drawing in a frame from point to point. Rise over run. So let's count that rise. Rise is in the y direction. So you notice that I go four in the rise. The rise is four. Now my run is in the x direction. And in the x direction, I go six. Six in the x direction. Just count them. So 
So rise of a wren and you want to write it as a fraction. So the rise is four and the wren is six. Fraction! Four over six. Duh, you want to reduce. So four over six will reduce to two thirds. So the slope of this line is a positive two thirds. How about the slope of this line? Notice that it is a negative slope. It's going downhill. If it's going downhill, it's negative, and you want to make sure that your answer is negative. So first, we're going to find some points on the line. Find any points? I'm finding ones that are um, of integer values on the x and y values, but there's certainly infinite points that are not integer values. I would recommend the integer values. Okay, so once you have all these points, just pick two. doesn't matter. Pick any two. It doesn't matter. Pick two. Pick two. We've got to draw in the frame. Rise over run. So let's count our rise. Rise and run. Rise over run. And so I count my rise, and my rise in the y direction is six. So if you count... How many I go down? I went down six. And I run to the right in the x direction, three. So my rise over run. I'm going to write it as a fraction. Don't forget to make it a negative slope. Negative slope. Make sure you put that in there. Negative. Negative slope. My slope should be negative. If it's a negative slope, make sure your slope is negative. Reduce that sucker. And you get negative 2. So the slope is negative 2. So using the formula, the slope formula is m, m is your slope, so it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's the difference in the y values over the difference in the x values. Make sure you notice m is the symbol for slope. m is the symbol for slope. There's no m in the word slope, but we're going to use it anyway. Like m for mountains. Remember the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. So let's use the formula to calculate the slope of this line. So two points on the line are negative 8 comma 2 and 7 comma negative 9. And the negative 8 is my first x, and the 2 is my first y, and the 7 is my first x, and the negative 9 is my second y. 7 is my second x, negative 9 is my second y. So it really doesn't matter which one's my first and second point, but pick one to be your first and one to be your second. So once you have your two points, you're going to take the formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Start with the second y value. The second y value is negative 9, so we're just going to go ahead and stick that in there with some parentheses. And I go from the second y value to the first y value, so I would minus 2. And then I go to the x's, so y is first and then it's x's, so I start at the back, go backwards. Okay, so I'm going to go from the x's. The second x value is a 7, 
And then I'm going to subtract the first x value, which is a negative 8. So I subtract negative 8. So negative 9 minus 2 is negative 11. And 7 minus negative 8 is positive 15. So my slope is negative 11 over positive 15. So if you'll notice here, I go down negative 11, and I go to the right 15. So I have rise over run, rise over run, rise over run. So it's negative 11 over positive 15, so I can see that I calculated the slope correctly.